Hey guys, Soul Closet here, back making another video. And today, um, I'm gonna start with this. This is my OBS Studio window for Twitch streaming. And you can see that there's a spot for my content, which is right now my monitor. You can see, it's my monitor. I've got a spot for my alerts, I've got a spot for how many people have followed me. This would normally show music if there was music playing. I've got the chat, and that is connected to my Twitch stream live, and I've got my camera down here, all wrapped up in a nice layout with little borders and my Twitch name. So today's video is going to be on how to make a Twitch layout. Not exactly like this, because I'm not going to go into Photoshop and show you how to make the background part with the name and the borders and all that. But I'm going to show you guys how to add different things to OBS so that you can have your Twitch stream be more than just the game. Let's get started. Okay, so the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go up to Scene Collection. This is assuming you're using OBS Studio, okay? That's the newest version of OBS. You'd have to download Classic if you wanted the old one. I'm not talking about the old one because it's a little different. But what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to make a new scene collection. And you can name it whatever you want. I'm going to name this one video because it's just for this video. Click OK. All right. And you will end up with the black screen. Now, um, if you haven't watched my video on how to set up OBS for recording or Twitch streaming, um, they'll be linked down in the description. I have one video about setting up OBS just to capture your games, and that'll be important. Um, and then I also have another one about how to set up OBS for streaming to Twitch. Um, and I would suggest watching both of those um, if you're confused about doing either of those things. So in this video, I'm just going to be showing you how to set up the OBS layout, not how to actually configure um, recording correctly or streaming to Twitch. So with that said, let's get started. The first thing you're going to want to add as a source is your content. Now, normally this would be a game, in which case you would use game capture or window capture. Again, I have talked about that in my other video on how to record games. Um, for the purposes of this video, I'm not going to be playing a game, so I'm just going to use my monitor. So let's make a display capture, and that's fine. Um, so yeah, you want your content to fill the screen, um, and that's good. So pretend this, this is our game, okay? The next thing we can add is a camera. So to add a camera, you're going to go right click, add video capture device. You can name it whatever you want. I'm just going to name it camera. And hi, that's me. You're going to want to select your webcam from here. You can see it also recognizes my Elgato game capture as a webcam. It's not a webcam, but the Logitech HD C920 is. So I'm going to select that. You can also at this point, if you realize that you have an HD webcam like I do, um, and you know that you have an HD webcam, but it still shows up square, you can actually go to rev res resolution, FPS type, sorry, custom, and then when you click on the little box here, it'll show you all the resolutions that your webcam supports. Now, on the box for your webcam, or maybe online about it, it should tell you what the recommended resolution is. Um, for example, it says that mine supports this crazy resolution, but you can see the frame rate very bad. You don't want to use that. My webcam is 1080p at 30 FPS. You can see it's a lot smoother now. Good stuff. So you're going to want to set the webcam to the resolution you want. I use 1920 by 1080 for my Logitech C920 webcam. You don't have to worry about any of this. You can just click OK. At that point, you want to see that there is the red border around the webcam. And you want to just drag it down. And let's say we want to put it in the corner up here. Great. So now we've got that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the game, and for now, let's just make it a little smaller. You know, let's just put it over here. So we've got the camera up there, and you can drag it to where it just about fits next to the thing. You can use the arrow keys to move stuff pixel by pixel. Uh, there we go. That's an even line there. So now we've got the game, which is really my monitor, but we've got the game, and we've got the camera. So how do we add the chat? To add the chat, we're going to want to open up your browser of choice. I use Mozilla Firefox. It's whatever you want. OK. And you're going to want to go to, you know what? I can't remember the name of the website, but I can show you what to Google to get there. Um, if you go to Night Dev Chat Plugin, 
Yeah, okay. So you want to Google Night Dev Chat plugin. I'll, I'll just link this in the description, but you can also just search that if you want to. But it's called CapChat. It's made by Night Dev, whoever that is. Okay, so um, I actually went and looked at something, and it turns out that you don't need to do what I was just saying. And instead, I'm going to start that part over. So I'll probably edit out what I did before, but this is what you need to do to get the chat on your stream. So you're going to click Install for OBS. Um, if you're on Windows, you'll click this one. If you're gonna click, if you're on Mac, you'll click this one. Um, but then it's gonna bring up this window. You don't need to download this, so I, you know, you you can just click next. Because what it wants you to do is it wants you to download a special version of OBS that supports this. But if you have OBS Studio and you use the full install, which is the default option when you install it, um, you should just have this functionality already. So you're going to want to click next, and then you want to type in the info. So you're going to type in your Twitch username. So not don't paste in the URL, just like it says. You want to type in the username. So for me, it's Soul Closet 2 Okay. Um, if you turn on chat fade, what that does is that as the chat is scrolling up the screen um, or up the little window that it's in, um, older lines of chat will fade out after a certain amount of time. If you're a popular streamer, that can be useful. Um, but if not, I would suggest leaving it off so that when new people come into your stream, they can still see the chat messages from the last person who was there. Um, you can either show or hide bot activity. Um, so that's up to you. And then if you have a, a very low or a fairly low chat volume and you want to prevent uh, emotes from clipping each other, uh, you know, going over or under each other, you can turn that on, but I wouldn't suggest it. Then you want to do the chat theme. I tend to like uh, Better TTV Dark, um, but you can really choose whatever you want. Uh, you can always come back to this um, and choose a different one and take what it gives you and try it again. But I'm going to choose Better TTV Dark. So you want to click Next, and then you want to take the hosted URL and then just copy that, okay? So now we can minimize the browser and go back to OBS. This is where we put it actually into our layout. So you're going to want to right click down here, add browser source. If you don't see browser source, it's because you don't have the full install of OBS Studio. And in that case, I would suggest installing the exe that we encountered on the CapChat website that I told you not to install a couple minutes ago. But in any case, you should see browser source. You can click on that. You can name it whatever you want. I'll name it chat. And then where it says URL, you'll see it shows the OBS website. You obviously don't want it to show the OBS website. So under URL, you're going to delete that and you're going to paste in the chat website and click OK. Now what that's going to do is that's going to spawn the chat spawn. That's going to make a chat window that looks something like this. Um, and this is just one of the themes. Some of the themes, there's no background behind the chat, but I'll just leave it in this theme for the sake of this video. So right now that's my live Twitch chat. If I were to go to my Twitch channel and chat something, it would show up there. Um, and that'll always work as long as you have OBS open. Um, so now you'll notice that it's sticking out way in here over our game. How do we fix that? Well, you want to right click on it, go to properties down here, and you can just manually edit the height and width values in pixels. So I'm going to make this like 400 and then, oh, now you can see it's a little too thin. So maybe I'll make it 475. And you just want to kind of play with it until it fits in the area that you want. So I think 470 is going to be good. And it still clips over a little, maybe 467. There we go. And now you can see that if I click away from it, the chat fits in perfectly there. And this height right here that you can see, this box, the chat will only go down that far and then it'll start scrolling. So you could, for example, make it a little shorter to line up with the other stuff, maybe like 560. There we go. That just about lines up with the bottom of the game there. So yeah, and the, as people chat, it would show up on your stream there. So we added that. We added the camera. We added the game. How do we add maybe a background image? Let's say you don't have a nice layout like my Twitch channel does, um, but you want to add something so that the background's not just this big black space. Okay, fair enough. 
we're going to go down here, right click, add, image, you can just call it BG or whatever you want, and then you can just pop in an image file. It's really that easy. So let me use something I've made in Photoshop. Um, sure. And you'll notice that it shows up on top of your stream. For that, you're going to want to click on it here and then click down, down, down until it's at the bottom layer. And now you can see it's at the bottom of my stream. There you go. That was pretty easy. So we're almost at the point where we have a, you know, pretty sufficient stream here. The one thing you might want to do is maybe add some text saying who you are or what you're playing or something like that. In that case, you'd go to add text GDI plus and call it whatever it is. And you can select the font. My favorite is Sego UI uh, Light. It's my personal favorite font. And then you can make it kind of big and you can just type in your name. I'm going to put Soul Closet 2 because that's my Twitch name. Click OK, and it'll show up right there. And you can just kind of boop, or you can go back to properties, select font, and just type in a bigger font size, like 120, maybe. Yeah, there we go. That doesn't look great, but it looks OK, you know. And I'd say that if someone comes across your stream and it looks like this, wouldn't be the worst thing in the world. You know, you've got your game that you're playing right here, camera there, chat there, name here. I'd say that's a pretty decent start if you're getting into Twitch streaming. And note that there are lots of people who are graphic designers, um, not myself. I do my stuff for myself pretty much exclusively, and I don't consider myself that good. But there are actual professional graphic designers who will let you pop them five or ten bucks, and they'll make you a Twitch layout with all the nice little boxes for you to put stuff in. So with that in mind, I hope you guys like this little mini tutorial. I know it's kind of rambly. I know it's kind of all over the place. But if you're getting into Twitch streaming, um, I think this is the kind of stuff that you might want to do, um, you know, just to put a little bit of effort into the visuals of your stream. Uh, so with that said, I will see you guys later. If you like the video, leave a like if you want. Um, if you don't like the video, you can dislike it, but leave me a comment saying what I could have done better, or if you have any questions, just let me know, and I'll make sure to answer them if I can. After all that, I'll see you guys next time. Soul Closet out.